Hi, this is David, and um, the shenanigans continue. You know, I drove my child to school this morning, and I'm coming out of the uh, school parking lot there after dropping her off, and I see this Republican caucus sign on the uh, public grass on this side of the sidewalk. And it said tonight, I think it's the 13th. Let me look at my calendar. Oh, no, it's tomorrow night. Uh, that there's a Republican caucus. Well, I went home, and on the way home, I saw six more signs, all within a block of City Hall and the police department, and um, they were right around. So I called, and I said, you know, I'm uh, seeing these caucus signs, and they said, whoa, where are you seeing them? I said, look out your window. Oh. I said, you know, I'm looking at the ordinance right here in our city, and it says nothing can be on that public uh, thoroughfare there that um, is not authorized by the, the city. Uh, did you authorize those signs to be there? Can I put a Barack Obama sign right next to that Republican caucus sign? Ah, well, 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 Can I talk to the city attorney? Ah, he's not here. Can I talk to the head of the building and zoning the bar? Ah, he's not here. Well, could I talk to somebody uh, that's in the trash department? They're not here. I said, well, you know, it's really convenient. It's really convenient that you don't have anybody there that can pull those signs away when they're illegal, and tomorrow night they've served their purpose now, haven't they? Now you can pull them down. doesn't matter. Everybody went to the caucus. Now, let me tell you what really pisses me off about this and living in Utah. The Mormon Church announced uh, a week, week and a half ago, over the podium to all of its members that they are excused from all Tuesday night, March 13th meetings. There's no bishopric meeting. There's no high council meeting. There's no young men's meetings. There's no young women's meetings. There's no temple interview. There's no tithing settlement. There's no anything. The Mormons now are excused on Tuesday night to go to the Republican caucus. Don't tell me they're not involved in, in political things. My eyes saw this morning, and my ears heard the, the city manager, secretary say, well, they're not here. Can we just uh, find someone and we'll call you right back? I said, yeah, yeah, I know how this is going to work. By tomorrow night, you'll have them pulled down because there's no need of them anyway. Well, I went around the community, and I took nine pictures of signs. Uh, one was uh, right in front of the LDS chapel on Main Street. Two or three were on Main Street. Two or three were coming right out of the school um, zones where the, all the parents go in the morning. You know, the Mormons just will not obey the law. They haven't since Joseph Smith. They haven't since Brigham Young. And I'm living here today in 2012 in a Mormon community and they think they can just stick those Republican or caucus signs on the public thoroughfare. They can't. Now, I go driving into my child's school. I look up, and I see two Republican caucus signs. And they're facing so you can see them. And then there's one Democratic sign that's facing straight on to the street. So if you go by, you'll never be able to read it or see it. But the other ones are slanted so you can see them. So I know the principal there, and she's a wonderful person. And I went in, and I said, hey, you can't put that on public property. She says, Oh, we were told we could. And I said, by who? Well, I don't remember. And I said, you can't do political advertising on public lands. Well, they said it was a waiver. It's not a political process. It's the caucuses. And I said, you know what? They're full of shit. You illegally have those out on the signs out there. Oh, we'll take them down then. I said, okay. Good, that's all I'm asking. I'm not trying to be an ass here. I'm just trying to let you know what the law is. And if Romney wins, Romney wins. But he's going to win fair and square, obeying the laws of the land. That's what his 13th, uh, I think it's the 13th article of faith says. We believe in obeying the law of the land. Well, they don't. They never have obeyed. So it t takes 70-year-old guys like me wandering around the community going, Hey! 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 You know, they can read the book. They know what the book is. Same way with soliciting. Uh, here in our town. Uh, they say that Mormon soliciting uh, is not soliciting. It's uh, religious freedom. There's an exemption. See, Mormons have an exemption to every rule and law they don't like. 
So anyway, um, I thought, well, I'll stop by the city hall. And I walked in, and uh, the, the lady said, hi, David. <laughs> oh, shit, they know my name now. Here comes the Danites. <laughs> and the rep here comes the Romneyites. <laughs> so anyway, she said, I was just trying to call you. And I said, well, I'm sorry. I was out taking pictures of the illegal signs. And she says, well, I called the head of the... Um, Republican uh, Caucus Association and told them they are on public property and they need to be removed. I said, fine. That's all I want. It's fairness. I'm not trying to be an ass here. I'm just trying to say, if you can put that on a school, then I can put the Church of the Devil. I can put Atheists for Jesus signs on the school lawn. I could put Muslims want to terrorize the United States. I can put anything political on there if you put anything political on there. So anyway, she took it down and said, hey, take it. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to report to you how long it takes them to take it down. Uh, it's 9, 10 in the morning. They've been up for one hour. And you know they're in no hurry <laughs> to take those down. And I'm sure when I pick the kids up at school today, the signs, will, there'll be delays, if you know what I mean. Welcome to Mormonism. Welcome to Utah. We have some people, and I've always felt bad for them. We have, and I've never seen it in many other states. Utah has a very uh, stringent sign ordinance. I guess the Republicans don't know that. Yeah, right. They wrote it. <laughs> they wrote it and still put their shit on the public domain. Well, we have this uh, sandwich shop, and we have um, a tax preparing company that they dress their people up in costumes and then the people, <laughs> snow, rain, hail, 20 below, it doesn't matter. They stand them out on a street corner and pay them whatever, seven fifty an hour, to sit there with a sign and they have to be moving the sign constantly to meet the law and they have to be moving. They can't stand and hold the sign. They have to be moving. And so we have uh, unscrupulous Mormon um, uh, businesses that they can't uh, put, afford or want to pay for a sign to be put out properly. So they pay these poor young people, and I've seen sometimes old people, standing with these signs in a costume, just freezing their ass off out there in the wintertime. And 120 degrees in the summertime, they're still standing there moving the sign and whatever. So don't tell me the Republican caucus uh, doesn't know that they're not supposed to, pull, supposed to put those signs up on public property. Well, they do. Don't tell me the missionaries come in here and say, oh, we're not soliciting. We're only asking for 10% of your income for the rest of your life. That's not soliciting, and we have an exemption. We always have an exemption because, hey, 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 oh, God, hear the words of my mouth. I'm special. I'm special. My garments are putting me in heaven. And what's interesting now about the Mormon church, in the last 24 hours, they said, well, you're not going to be a god, and you're not going to be able to have all those wives in heaven, and we've never taught that doctrine. I know you've heard it for 175 years, but because Mitt Romney is running for president, we're trying to mainstream. And this God, Adam, and the uh, you becoming a God and having a collab planets and whatever, that's bullshit. Well, I've known it's been bullshit myself here for years, but now they're just telling their people it's bullshit. Well, some of the faithful uh, uh, down in the Oaks said the other day I saw a presentation that they're losing a lot of 25 uh, to 30 year old men. They're coming home from their missions and they're looking at the real church and what they preached the real church was and they're finding a total discrepancies and leaving the churches in mass. So I'm sure, you know, I'm going to have extra taxes <laughs> from the city this year. I'm sure that my car is going to be towed because it's not parked on the line or something. I'm sure I'm going to be punished. It's the Mormon way to cause fear and trepidation. Well, when you're an atheist, <laughs> what are you afraid of? You don't need Jesus points, and you don't give a shit if they kill you. <laughs> so <laughs> the Mormons are really frustrated with atheists. So I just want to let you know, they don't obey the law. They never obey the law. And the only time the Mormon church ever does what is right is when you sue them. When you tangle them in the law and they become a headline in the newspaper, oh, oh, we didn't believe in that. Oh, no, no, that was wrong. You're right. You know, that's the Mormons. There it is, folks. Good morning. This has been a fun morning for me. Just trying to take my kids to school.